So originally, we both worked at the same Western bar in um, Hollywood, Los Angeles. California, yeah. yeah, in Hollywood on the Sunset Strip. And we met and we wanted to start writing songs together. Yeah, and we got really lucky. Uh, her second song in actually caught the attention of a manager here in Nashville, Tennessee. And that is what got us out here in the first place. But uh, yeah, that's how we got started, was just jamming because we were the only musicians in a restaurant full of actors. <laughs> <laughs> Musically speaking, um, I know we're both inspired by a ton of artists. Um, I love Stevie Nicks, I love Casey Musgraves, Caitlin Smith, Stevie Wonder. Pretty, pretty eclectic up in here. And very much for me too. I, I listen to everything, you know, I mean, recently I'm actually a huge like Youngblood fan. He's a new artist that I really dig, but I listen to a lot of classic rock. I was raised on that, raised playing it. Uh, I listen to a lot of metal. Uh, I played metal for years, so I get inspiration from just about everything. <laughs> So as far as individually concerned, what inspires us, I, uh, I actually started, I, I did a lot of theater growing up, and a lot of my individual influences are actually actors. Uh, Viggo Mortensen and Norman Reedus are two uh, very big inspirations for me, so it's, it's kind of funny that even though I'm a, I'm a musician and I'm a singer, most of my big influences are actors. I did know that now that I'm yeah. thinking about it. For me, it comes in a lot of ways. It's musicians, but I love musicians that have like a, a purpose, a meaning, a story, and uh, some, a second layer of depth to their life. Artists like Dolly Parton, who she's created a whole brand, whole identity outside of herself as a musician. I love Dolly Parton. I love Dorothy. Three things that I can't live without. Um, I would say coffee, whiskey, and this here guitar. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, well I feel like I'm not ripping off of him, this was my own idea, but three things I can't live without. Coffee, wine, and my dog, Dax. Who's, who's right there. He's right over there, chewing on a little bone, being a little fluffy guy. Um, if we had a show, the theme song would be the theme song to Friends. But in a minor key. I'll be there for you. You can find us on all social media platforms on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. We are at Jericho Rose Official. On Twitter, we're at Jericho Rose Band. Band. We're on Spotify as well. And uh, we love to talk with our friends. Yeah. Friends. You can also find us www.jerichoroseofficial.com. So bring on the love. So when we originally got asked to do this interview, a little birdie told us that they love our song Over You, so we decided to play it. Goes a little bit like this. Let me give it to you real straight. This old town knows you are my big mistake. Told myself that I was through No longer into you Guess that was wishful thinking Cause it took one text One call One drink at our old bar One touch and it's too much I'm supposed to be all for you So why the hell am I all over you? These games are trouble And I wish they knew I'm supposed to be over you, but I'm all over you. Yeah, honey, I don't miss the arguing. Shooting me down just like a 38. Still glad I walked away, but let's set the record straight. That blood ain't good for anything. But it's a one text, one call, one drink at our old bar. 
One touch and it's too much I'm supposed to be over you So why the hell am I all over you? These hands in trouble and I wish they knew That I'm supposed to be over you But I'm all over you I know that I should know better And I know this can't go on forever It just took one text, one call, one drink at our old bar, one touch and it's too much. I'm supposed to be over you. So why the hell am I all over you? These hands are trouble and I wish they knew that I'm supposed to be over you. But I'm all over you. Thank you.